In this video, we introduce our project, Learning by Watching. Our goal is to learn robotic manipulation skills with the guide of a single human video. There are three motivations behind our project. First, human kids have the ability to learn physical skills through imitating adults. Second, collecting expert demonstrations is often hard for learning from demonstration methods. Third, video data is abundant on the internet and we want robots to be able to learn from watching those videos. The major challenge of this problem is that robot arms and human arms are different in morphology. To address this, previous methods apply image-to-image -image translation model to solve the domain shift issue. While vanilla translation models may capture macro image features, small but important objects can easily be missing after translation, which could lead to a poor performance of the downstream tasks of robot control. To overcome this challenge, we develop an unsupervised perception module. Our perception module composes an image-to-image -image translation model and a key point detection model. The translation model translates images from human domain to the robot domain using a style content disentanglement method. And then, the key point de detection model reconstructs the translated robot frame by transporting spatial features at the detected key point locations. Besides the perception module that converts the human video into a key point's trajectory, our method has another component in which we learn a reward by a distance metric that measures the distance between the key point based representation of the current observation and those in the key point's trajectory. Then, the key point based representation will be passed to the policy network to predict an action that is used to interact with the environment. We collect the experience data and then apply it to the soft actor critic algorithm. Given a human video as input in the first row, we present the cycle gun translation in the second row. In the third row, we visualize our translated images and the detected key points produced by the perception module. Our perception module accurately detects the robot's arm pose and the location of the interacting object. Finally, we present visual comparisons with the baseline methods on the reaching, pushing, and sliding tasks. Results show that our approach outperforms state-of-the-art methods. For more information, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.